So one of the issues with these common hydraulic presses, like these 20 ton presses, is that the table is pretty annoying to move up and down. I mean, the table itself is heavy, but it's not that crazy heavy. It's more when you're trying to juggle the pins and moving the table up and down, it's often easier with two people. With this one, you can take one pin out and bring it down lower and then only let one of the ends of the table down to that pin and then do the next pin. But I discovered that if you're not careful, like if you have this on the end here and I go to tilt this up to move the table up, you'll see what happens is it'll fall off that pin and then it can fall down on the ground. And that's pretty dangerous, especially if it falls on your foot and you don't have steel toed boots. So therefore, a lot of higher end, more expensive presses come with some kind of crank with a cable going through to help raise and lower the table and support the table. Since these cheap ones don't come with a crank like that, we're going to be adding one. So what I have here is I have a very basic strap hand winch. This is commonly used for pulling boats up onto trailers. But in this case, we're going to use it for lifting and lowering the table. So you could also use a cable hand winch, but the problem is you'd have to add pulleys to the cable. And so one of the easiest things to do with a cable hand winch is to place it like here, for example, and then you could have one cable that could go straight down and hook onto the table. And then you have another cable that runs across, goes over a pulley, goes down and goes to the table. One other thing with this one is that this is kind of in the way up here. So you could put it, the cable in front or behind it, but I thought it'd be easy to just use a strap. So with the strap, I can just pass the strap inside the frame and under the table mounts, which are already cylinders. So they pretty much act as rollers. And then under the other side of the table and up over here and hook it onto the top of the side rail. So there we go, nothing extra needs to be done to the table or to this area, no pulleys need to be installed. So really the only thing that needs to be done is to mount the hand winch up here onto the side rail with some bolts. So I'll have to drill two new holes here to attach the bolts up to here. Now, wait a second, this handle interferes with the front of the frame. I was not anticipating that when I originally ordered this winch. So what I'll have to do is add an extension to the shaft that goes to the gear in here such that the handle can come out further and away from the frame and we can crank it freely without hitting the frame. Now there's a few ways that extension can be added. So one way is to remove the handle and then tack weld the nut onto this threaded shaft and then use a socket and either use, just use a socket wrench to drive it or take a long socket and weld it to the back of the handle and then you can just take the handle, put it on there, crank it, and then remove the handle when you don't need it. Another way that could be done is to get or make a coupler nut that extends out the shaft. And where the coupler nut connects to here would have to be either welded or heavy duty loctited. And then at the other end, the handle would attach onto that coupler nut with a bolt. And it probably also needs to be welded or pinned out here to prevent the handle from freely rotating but this will be very easy to mitigate. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and mount the winch to this frame. Okay, so I figured out that I could actually mount the hand winch sideways such that the crank arm would clear the side of the hydraulic press and you could just crank it like this, which is actually really convenient to crank and then hold the table with your hand and guide the table with your hand because the belt actually twists just fine as it's pulling up here, it's not tight yet. There is this hump in the belt and I thought it was like, uh, it wasn't wound properly. And I unwound it all and then I realized that the end of the belt is looped around a bolt in there and the bolt is off center from the axis. So it creates this hump in the fabric. It doesn't really matter too much for this. It was just annoying for something else I was using it for. Okay, so now it's tight. Okay, so you can see that the belt goes down and twists under the table piece here, this cross piece. It goes under, passes under here, and comes up to the other side. It goes up to the other side. And then up here, I just attach the hook over the top of the metal. And that actually works perfectly. Makes it easy to remove in the future. And it's kind of all hidden inside the frame. From the outside, you don't really see the strap that much. 
it's just in line with the frame. I like it. And the hydraulic cylinder also clears this. This is all the way at the end and the hydraulic cylinder still does not touch the hand winch. Since the strap is going under the table, as it's raised, the end that's closest to the winch is going to want to come up first, like this. It's very easy to just use your hand to kind of assist the other edge up and keep it level as it's going up. Then once you get above the pin where you want to move it to, just move your pins up. Release the winch switch to lower the table back down onto the pins. And then you can leave the winch loose. Now to go down, I'm going to raise the table a little bit off the pins, put my pins where I want to lower the table to, let's say down here, and then I'm going to switch the winch down to the lower position. So the thing is, the ratchet is not going to hold it now, so my hand needs to hold it to make sure, because if I let this go, it's just going to, it's just going to drop. So same thing here. I'm just going to lower it slowly. I'm going to use my hand to stabilize the table. And there you go. It's down on the pins. And then if I want to raise it again, I just change the ratchet in direction towards upwards and raise the table up. and then lower the table back down. So this hand strap winch is a great addition to this hydraulic press. It works beautifully to raise and lower the table, it makes it so much easier than having to wrestle this table. If you're interested in adding something like this to your hydraulic press, check down in the description for all the links. And stay tuned for my next video.